Hello friends, how are you doing today? So in this video, we are going to talk about generative AI solution architect roles and responsibilities and what exactly the generative AI solution architect does in the day-to-day -day life. Okay, so when it comes to the generative AI, the world is going towards generative AI technologies and you can see that a lot of enterprises are developing the generative AI models and training the model and releasing it to the public and you can use those models, right? And also other companies like the domain specific companies, industry specific companies are interested to use those generative AI models to solve the major critical business problems, right? Uh, keeping this aside, I just wanted to touch upon the solution architect role, what exactly it means for generative AI tools and technologies. So when it comes to the solution architect, it's a broader category. Everyone knows that every stream has their own solution architect. For example, if you are working for a platform platform uh, work uh, in an organization, you will be called platform solution architect. And if you are doing some type of uh, infrastructure uh, setup, infrastructure architecture, all those um, work, you are called infrastructure solution architect. And similarly, if you are doing some type of application development work, application design and as application specific work, then you are called application solution architect. The list will go on, right? Similarly, when it comes to the generative AI solution architect, the generative AI solution architect has the knowledge, experience, and uh, learned about um, the tools and technologies which are useful for a, an organization to achieve these AI solutions. So if a person is doing this type of works and uh, if he has that background with a data engineer, data scientist, and those are the profiles or candidates will go into this generative AI solution architect role. When it comes to implementing a generative AI solution for any organization, what exactly this generative AI solution architect does, whether they are doing the regular work of the generative solution architect who are doing the platform work, infrastructure work, or application work, or how they differ, how their work differ from the regular solution architect that we have seen so far. So this generative AI solution architect role has been emerging. And if you are with the background of data scientist, a data engineer, you are the right person to pursue this particular solution architect in generative AI field. I would like to share this chart it will definitely be useful who are aspiring to become a generative AI solution architect. Let's go. So I have put together a couple of charts to explain about uh, the roles and responsibility of generative AI solution architect and what exactly they do in the day-to-day -day life and what are all the areas they have to focus to improve their generative AI solution architect career. So these are all the roles a generative AI solution architect performs in an organization. So when it comes to an organization, you must have a business use case to implement with generative AI solution, right? So for that, you must, as a generative AI solution architect, you must talk to the business team to understand right business use case uh, to be implemented with generative AI solution, okay? And on after identifying the business use case as a generative AI solution architect, uh, he or she, works with uh, different teams to identify the right model to implement. Basically, there are uh, certain models available as a pre-trained model. You can pick that and use it or else you can create your own model and use uh, for addressing the business uh, use case um, problems. And if you are using any pre-trained generative AI models, uh, just uh, make sure that you get to know more about the pre-trained uh, Generative AI models like foundation models or uh, GAN or VAE models, all those sorts, etc. And in case if you are creating your own generative AI model, you must work with uh, data scientists and AIML engineers to create the model as a generative solution architect. And as a generative solution architect, you must also do some research on the algorithms that's going to be used in your own uh, generative AI models. Also, if you are using pre-trained generative AI models, get to know about what are all the algorithms used in the uh, behind of this uh, pre-trained generative AI models. And next thing is, as a generative AI solution architect, you must know about what type of uh, platform required for building, training, and deploying your generative AI models. And these platforms might be like uh, the VM engine or uh, the container or any cloud service providers. 
and also you must have a good understanding of deep learning machine learning nlp and nlg frameworks like keras tensorflow or pytorch etc so these uh, knowledge is very much required for a generative ai solution architect and as a generative solution architect a solution architect you must have good knowledge and experience in our transformers like libraries used in the uh, frameworks like a hugging face or uh, genism or core nlp these are all the frameworks available and uh, you must know about the libraries being used in these uh, frameworks and after building training and deploying the model you must know how to validate the model because validation of the model will prove that whether you develop the model in uh, associated with the business use case that your organization came up with right and it has to be validated thoroughly to address your uh, business problem and when it comes to the larger models being used in any kind of enterprises you must know about the performance requirements how you can maintain the uptime and uh, what type of algorithms being used and what of the what are all the quality of that uh, model being uh, developed all those terms as a generative solution architect you must know of and also coming to the cloud uh, era right the cloud area where you want to deploy your generative ai model in either ibm cloud using watson or aws or azure cloud or google cloud you must have a clear and thorough knowledge and experience of those generative ai models being produced by these cloud service providers so these are all the roles of a generative ai solution architect being performed in any organization in the next slide we are going to see the works being done by this generative ai solution architect so basically when it comes to implementing a solution for any business problem this generative ai solution architect first starts with identifying the model required for addressing this business business problem right the model can be pre trained model as we discussed in the previous chart or the um, data engineer or a ml engineer or data scientist may create the generative ai model using python code so i took that uh, example here um, the solution architect codes and creates this uh, model and he or she does this training of the model and once after after training he, he can prepare for deployment so the preparation for the deployment is lot of uh, steps first after creating the model and after training the model you have to export the model to the deployment platform and after exploiting the, the model you can choose the right deployment platform and set up the platform and load the trained model into that uh, deployment platform so here in this case we can take an example of creating a containerized deployment uh, environment for your generative ai model to run so for example you can use uh, kubernetes or red hat openshift or any built in platform provided by the cloud service providers like ibm aws azure google cloud and they do have the platform available for deploying your trained model uh, so you can uh, load the trained model and create inference pipeline basically the inference pipeline is required for getting the data from input source and uh, do a pre processing of the data and post processing of the data are being done by this inference pipeline and once after creating that you will use those data to train the model and then if you are going to expose your generative ai model as a service you can create a api endpoint and expose that endpoint to the clients who are going to use your model and uh, these um, endpoints may be your uh, rest api endpoint which are going to be called your um, generative ai model So these are all endpoint URL being used to call your generative AI model. And next one is monitoring and scalability. So when it comes to that uh, large data set model, right? In any enterprise, if you take, um, they use a very big model that will be having a lot of uh, resources um, that will consume a lot of resources in your platform and infrastructure. For that, you must know about what kind of monitoring tool to be used to monitor these type of large data set models. and when it comes to the security right once after monitoring and the scalability requirements are implemented for your generative ai model running in your uh, platform either in the cloud or on premises or containers wherever 
and you must focus on the security so normally when it comes to the generate ai models there are adversarial attacks happen that means like uh, when your model is running in any environment there are false attacks come to your uh, model um, and then it will collapse the model so for that you must focus on adversarial attacks and uh, implement those security requirements for safeguarding your generate ai model and also next one is after implementing all these things as a generate ai solution architect you must focus on testing and validation you must have the uh, separate dedicated team for doing this kind of sub- testing and validation because those teams are as expert in inputting the right data and prompting the model and validate the model and after doing all these steps you must focus on documenting this generate ai model so basically this generate ai model being used in your enterprise suppose if you are developing it for the public you will expose it as a public generate ai model in that case you must have a detailed documentation that will help users to use your model effectively and when it comes to integrating with other tools and technologies other applications running in your enterprise you must know how to integrate using ci cd pipeline with your generate ai models and finally you must know how to maintain and what type of uh, version update if the algorithms are being used from different framework uh, how frequent you have to take that version and update and maintain so this is how uh, generate ai solution architect work in any enterprise to create and uh, use this generate ai model either for in house purpose or for the external usage and coming to the focus areas of generate ai solution architect as a generate ai solution architect what are all the focus areas you must be aware about first one is deep learning fundamentals so normally when it comes to generate ai model creation and if you are a solution architect for generative ai models you must know the nlp nlg algorithms and deep learning fundamentals all those stuff and also when it comes to the generative ai solution architect role as a solution architect you must care about the scalability availability reliability of your generative ai model if it is going to run in your infra, in on premises infrastructure or either public cloud or private cloud wherever so as a generative ai solution architect you must have the knowledge about all the non functional requirement areas and deployment and productionization when it comes to generative ai models when you create and deploy it in your uh, on premises uh, or production environment wherever it is going to run you must choose the right platform right infrastructure and uh, right area to deploy your generative ai models and also model architectures there are lot of model architectures are available like uh, foundation architecture model and gan architecture model vae architecture model all those architecture models you must aware as a generative ai solution architect and then hyper parameter tuning when it comes to uh, tune fine tune your generative ai model whatever you developed or you uh, acquired it as a pre trained model you must know how to fine tune that model with the right quality of data so that your generate ai model can serve better for all the business purposes and loss functions when it comes to loss functions there are certain loss functions like activation function loss functions all those are available in the library of any framework you must know what loss function needs to be used for developing your generative ai model and also evolution metrics so when it comes to evolution metrics the time the response time like inception time inception uh, uh, value so those type of uh, metrics you must aware about it and also you must uh, track those metrics while testing your model and also while implementing this model for any of the business purposes and also transfer learning you must know about uh, what are all the transformer models available what are all the transformer techniques available uh, for implementing in the generative ai model that you are going to create and also when it comes to resource management if we are putting all these uh, models in any infrastructure how to manage the resources what type of virtual machines needed what type of um, cpu required and what type of gpu required and why you need to go for high storage mechanism all those things you must aware about um, if you are going to work as a generative ai solution architect and uh, user experience so once after deploying this model as a public model available for anyone to use you may need to 
put together um, uh, UI required for generating this, uh, connecting this uh, generative AI model with a nice UI um, or UX. And also, when it comes to uh, data preparation and processing, you must know what type of data required for your generative AI model to be trained and used effectively in your business organization. Sometimes the data may be available in your organization as a small set of data, or you may need to get large data set to um, train your generative AI model. That uh, the large data set can sit in your uh, database, or you can um, um, extract from any other data sources. And when it comes to security, you must know about what are all the security mechanisms, regulations, and governance, all these things for your generative AI model to run fine in any of the environment. So basically, when you are developing a generative AI model and you are putting it anywhere in, uh, in any of the infrastructure, the security regulation compliance are key things. For example, if you are generating a, creating a generative AI model for uh, medical uh, usage, right? So the medical usage must uh, follow this HIPAA compliance, right? So all those steps should be um, considered while implementing the generative AI model for your organization. And also, as a generative AI solution architect, you must focus on use case and domains. Basically, what type of use cases required for your organization, or if you are developing a generative AI model any, for any public usage, uh, for example, uh, the finance industry, or insurance industry, or any type of um, medical industries, all those domain-specific knowledge you must have. And uh, keep learning about the generative AI advancement, new features, go to the conferences and uh, attend webinars, all those steps you must do to become a successful solution architect. And also communication, collaboration. This is key part for every solution architect to know of, right? In your organization, you may need to deal with your business people, technology people, and CTOs. So you must have the key communication and collaboration skills. And regulatory compliances, as I said, uh, when you deal with generative AI nowadays, uh, the compliance are key things because uh, the data being used for training the generative AI model are the sensitive data, and you must uh, follow all the regulatory compliances while using the data for training your generative AI model. And uh, during the development of uh, generative AI model or during the deployment of generative AI model, there are definitely the problems um, will arrive. And so in that case, you must have the hands-on experience in problem solving and troubleshooting skill. You must know how to debug the flow, how to implement uh, the fix for any problems, all those steps. And finally, when it comes to the documentation, it is key uh, for any generative AI solution architect to document uh, generative AI model usage and best practices followed uh, during the development and deployment. So that's all about the focus area of a generative AI solution architect. I'm going to share this chart to you and uh, keep focusing on these areas and get to know more about new uh, advancement coming in generative AI and try helping your organization to solve all the business use cases. And also, when it comes to exploring this generative AI, there are plenty of uh, materials available in IBM Watson site and also AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud site. You can go and explore about the new features coming in those areas. If you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it to your friends so that they will also get benefit out of it. Take care. Bye.